Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, or Jupiter. If you are curious about your love life, please make sure you check out your Venus, your Mars, your Jupiter sign. Uh, just go to your natal chart. It's a natal birth chart. You can go online, type in natal birth chart calculator, and you'll be able to find out where your Venus, your Mars, and your Jupiter are. And whatever sign that resides in for you, you may want to listen to that as it relates to your love life. Everything else is below, guys. Thank you so very much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like to subscribe or have subscribed, please make sure that you check um, the uh, little wiggly bell. So click on that to make sure that you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. Guys, we are going to get right into it. My beautiful Capricorns, one of my favorite signs. You know, sometimes when I do readings, people say, you hate our sign. You hate Virgo. You hate Libra. You hate Gemini. You hate Aries. I don't hate anybody, first of all. And honestly, I don't like giving negative messages, but... You know, I made, I have a contract with universe that I will give the messages for what comes out. And personally, I love Capricorns. I mean, you guys are probably, you Cancers, Aries, and Sagittarians, and some Librans are at the top. Period. It's just, it's just who, who I get along with, who I'm attracted to. I mean, it just, it just is what it is. So, but I would have to say, without a shadow of a doubt, Capricorn's number one. Whether I give you a good message, bad message, you like it, you don't like it, I don't care. I still love you because I love my caps, period. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get started with your reading. I am going to do the uh, May and uh, then I'm also going to do June. May is going to be done with the Rider White. And June is going to be done with the uh, Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. Let's go ahead and let's get started with it, my beautiful Capricorns. Your general energies for the month of May are the Tower. Oh, very interesting. Hmm. Okay, we'll get into that. Uh, your energy for your work life and financial life is the Temperance. Hmm. For emotional life and love life, the uh, Knight of Pentacles. And for your health and your well-being, the Ace of Swords. Oh, dear. Yeah. I know what's going on here. Wow. Oh, Capricorns, get ready. Get ready, Capricorns. Something very unexpected is coming up. And honestly... It looks good. Just saying. It looks good. It looks good for somebody. Okay. Uh, let's see what else is going on here, Capricorns, for June. What's going on for the month of June? Um, yeah, you're one of my favorites, but you know I don't. Favorites does not apply when you're pulling in messages for people. And um, let me tell you what. This feels good for some reason. What do we got going on for your general energy for the month of June? This is the Sandra and Taylor deck, month of June. General energies for the month of June. Capricorns, please give me one card for the general energies for the month of June. One card. All right. Broken heart. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. An unexpected message is going to cause a delay. It may cause a broken heart. But have faith, Capricorn. I don't feel that this is a bad thing. Just hold on. Some of you, it may be. Work life and financial life, Capricorn. Work life and financial life. Rest and rejuvenation. Some of you are definitely taking a vacation in June. Possibly to be with a Sagittarius person, Capricorn. 
or you might be a, a Scorpio Sag Cusper. What do we have going on as it relates to, why did I say that? Scorpio Sag Cusper. Oh, Scorpio, the tower. Yes, that's why I said that. Okay. Uh, what's going on regarding your emotional life and love life in the month of June? Emotional life and love life. The world. Yep. I knew what this is. Health and well-being, Capricorn, month of June. Happy family. All right. Capricorn, this is what I'm sensing. All right. Capricorn, you are getting information. You are getting very significant information regarding somebody around you, regarding a new beginning in their life. And you feel like, why did I wait so long? That's what I'm saying. For some of you uh, Capricorns out there, you have to move or someone else has to move and it's causing a broken heart. You feel like you've lost the person that you truly, truly, truly understood and that they truly, truly understood you. All right. But you're not losing them. Just because they're in a different part of the world doesn't mean that you have to stop your love and your your desire to see them. Okay. This is definitely what I'm picking up here. Well, let's get into it. Capricorn for you for the general energy for the month of May, you do have the tower card. So someone is leaving, somebody is moving, you are moving, you are leaving. There could be um, a, sol a small explosion. Let's just say it. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to deny it anymore. Half the time, you know, I get these messages and I say, oh, something unexpected is coming. No, I'm just going to call it out like it is. This is an absolute explosion. Okay. So what this explosion is for you could be something that you're seeing on the internet, could be something that you're reading in a book, could be a movie you're watching. It could be um, your something like you, you put in the oven, baking a pie and it explodes in the oven. Something explodes in the microwave. This is what this is. This is the energy that you are attracting right now. Okay. Something very unexpected, something you you did not think would happen in a million years is actually happening. All right, Capricorn, this is what is going on. I am sensing for many of you, you are absolutely making people shake in their boots. What does this mean? This means that you are bringing truth forward that makes other people think, that makes other people aware of your position and you're not even, you don't even care about your position at this point. It's not even about you or your perspective or your desires. This is about the most rational way to look at a situation. And because you are putting that out to others, they're like, whoa, really Capricorn? And then they're going to sit there and then they're going to say, well, that serves you. Of course, you're going to say that that's, that's, you know, biased towards you. But then you're going to say, no, you may want to look at the facts. It's not biased towards me at all. This is the right thing to do. Capricorns, I don't know what you got going on here, but I'm just hearing this is where the rubber meets the road. I don't think it's bad but I think it's going to cause a little bit of chaos. All right. So what do we got going on for work life and financial life? You do have temperance. So as it relates to work life and financial life, a Sagittarian person could be of great significance in your life. A Scorpio Sag person could be of great significance. You could have Scorpio Sagittarius type of uh, energies around you um, within your chart as well. Uh, or you could be Sag, Sag Cap. This is, this is what could be happening here. Um, wow. Some of you Capricorns in the month of May, it's like you're missing somebody sexually. Like there's something going on Sagittarius where for those of you that are, that are not in a loving and happy bond and you go home to the same person every day, 
for those of you that are dating, for those of you that are seeing somebody, for those of you that love someone from afar, for those that love someone that's even across town, whatever it is, Capricorns, there's something going on here where it's like, I need to physically be with this person. I need to physically exchange energy with this person through the act of sex. This is coming up for some of you Capricorns out there. Um, this could be for some of you Capricorns out there, possibly somebody related to your work, someone who understands your work, someone you talk about, or you talk to about work that could be coming up here. For others of you Capricorns out there that this does not apply to, you could be mixing and matching things. You could be like trying to figure out the right color. You could be trying to look for the right hardware, the right way to put something together. This is definitely what I am picking up here. You could be going through home renovation or you could be helping somebody with home renovation. This is happening. For others of you, you're putting your toe in the water relative to something going on regarding your work life, your financial life. Some of you may have to travel for work. Some of you are concerned about electrical um, connections. Like for example, some of you Capricorns are worried about, um, see, the thing is the tower, the tower is all about electricity. Look at the lightning. And then the temperance card is all about fitting things together and making sure they flow. So it's like ACDC. Some of you might be listening to ACDC. It's okay, Capricorn. I'm a rocker girl, I get it. Um, so, uh, but, but, but something's going on regarding electricity. Please be careful, Capricorn, if you are working around electricity that is around water, um, make sure that that's, uh, yeah, that you've got your ground um, figured out there. Something about grounding electrical circuits is coming up for some of you Capricorns. But there is definitely something coming up here regarding possibly you need to travel for work. Perhaps you are on vacation right now from work. For some of you out there, there is um, a light at the end of the tunnel. Many of you are using a very, um, a very focused light to do work. Like, you know, those lights you have on the, on the, um, some of you, your third eye is being activated, but for others of you, you're, you've got that, that hat with like the light, you know, and you're like focused, you know, on the light, like you're doing work at night. So you need a light is what's going on here. A nightlight could be of great significance for some of you out there, maybe for a child or something like that. I, I am just being told Capricorn, get a nightlight for your children's rooms because if you don't, you could trip on something is what I'm getting or someone could trip. And it could be a significant accident where someone might need stitches or something like that. As it relates to uh, work life and financial life, however, you're mixing and matching. You're trying to figure out, okay, should I put my money here? Should I put my money there? For others of you out there, you are investing in something regarding travel, airlines. You're interested in airlines. You're interested in piloting. For some of you, you might be pilots. Uh, that could certainly be here. Or you're just interested in, in aviation is what I'm hearing. And since Uranus does rule the tower and Scorpio rules the tower, then I would have to say that this might also be outside of the realms of the stratosphere. It might be beyond the stratosphere for some of you Capricorns out there. This is just crazy because I have one of my dearest, 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 dearest Capricorn friends. This would apply to this person right now. I just find that just fascinating. Um, at least these two cards do, you know, the temperance and the tower, you know, that's, that's, that's what I'm picking up. Um, but anyway, um, the Knight of Pentacles is what's coming up for your emotional life and love life. Perhaps Capricorns, your emotional life and love life is moving just a little bit slowly. 
you're trying to determine, you know, do I need, do I need to move forward or should I kind of hold back on this particular situation in my life? I want to give somebody my love, but I'm not quite sure just yet. Or maybe they're thinking that about you. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo person um, in your emotional life and love life. Sun sign, rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign, Mars sign, Ju uh, Jupiter sign. So just be aware that that uh, type of person is here. Um, I'm just sensing Capricorn. I'm going I'm to make this very, very clear and very, very simple. You or someone else is about to offer something to the other person. This could be something as simple as, hey, let's go out on a date. Let's go get coffee. Um, I want to marry you. I want to date you. I want to be exclusive with you. Uh, I want to give you something of value, a small gift, but it is very valuable. Um, and there is something about land, Taurus, something about your land. Maybe you are preparing your land for whatever reason. Um, you know, this could be just winter going into summer or winter going into spring. And you're like, oh, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to pull weeds and stuff like that. This is something you might be doing. Um, if any of you are doing any type of home renovation and you are going to dig, please make sure you contact your electrical company before you dig. All right. What do we got going on for your health and your well-being? You do have the Ace of Swords. As it relates to the Ace of Swords, oh my gosh, this is getting long. I got to get going. As it relates to the Ace of Swords, um, this is all about the aha moment, the truth. Um, the truth of an under uh, of a situation, an understanding of a situation. For some of you Capricorns out there, I am going to say you are definitely getting it on sexually in the month of May. You are. Absolutely. And, um, you know, it is what it is. And I think you're thoroughly going to enjoy it. <laughs> you know, it is, is what it is. And, um, this is something that you've been looking forward to, or this is something that you've been trying to, um, create for some of you Capricorns. I feel as though This is interesting, Capricorns. I feel as like the next, like if you're single, okay, if, if you're coupled, you're definitely getting it on. You're definitely having a good time. You're definitely going to celebrate one another sexually. That's without a doubt. But for some of you Capricorns out there that are, that are dating or maybe that are, um, you know, in a, in an exclusive relationship right now, there is something going on here where there is, somebody's committing to somebody it's it's almost like it's almost like capricorn it's like you're waiting to have this this moment this sexual exchange moment in order to tell somebody how much you feel for them or how much you care for them or for some of you capricorns something very unexpected happens regarding somebody you're interested in and it is that um that unexpected moment that actually forces you to tell them how you feel about them as it relates to health and well-being with the ace of swords again like i say health and well-being i mean sexually active without a shadow of a doubt um but also the truth there's some sort of truth being revealed to you about something that you've been suffering from and now you're going to make accommodations in order to deal with whatever this condition is. Some of you, especially with the Ace of Swords, there is like a surgery energy. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I've been talking a lot. This is my third reading. I've been going nonstop. So including all the meetings at work, my, my nine to five or, oh my goodness, um, talking, talking, talking. So anyway, um, this could be surgery energy for some of you, either you're dealing with surgery energy or somebody else around you is dealing with surgery energy, but that is certainly coming up my beautiful Capricorn. So let's move into June. 
June, general energy is the broken heart. So Capricorns, what's going on here in the month of June, something is happening where you are getting unexpected news relative to just relative to something out of the blue. And whatever this is, it shakes you up a little bit and you feel like your heart is like sinking quickly. It's almost like, why didn't I? Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I say this? Why didn't I handle this appropriately? It's almost like um, you're dealing with something you're seeing it differently now than you saw it in the past okay and so what's happening here is that you're looking at it from a broader perspective and this could be somebody moving this could be somebody going away this could be somebody giving you unexpected information that is now causing a broken heart maybe you're giving them the unexpected information and and you're breaking their heart or they could be breaking your heart, but I don't feel like it is something that they're, that that's nefarious. This is not something that's mean. This is something that just is fated to happen. Okay, so, oh my gosh. <sighs> Whatever this thing that is fated to happen, Capricorn, because it was fated to happen and it wasn't mean, it actually affects you more because it was faded as opposed to somebody actually doing something mean to you. This is almost like it's a kick in the gut for some of you Capricorns. It's almost like you're saying if they would have openly been mean or if they would have been contriving or if they would have been manipulative or if they would have been cruel, I could totally get over this. But because they've always been kind, they've always been nice, they've always been loving, this is killing me. This is breaking my heart. And gosh, Capricorns, I wanna cry. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. We are gonna move on. Um, but it's, 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 it's crying through absolute unconditional love. I think some Capricorns are gonna feel love like they've never felt it before. They are. Yeah. But it's going to, it's going to bring up an emotional response. So for your uh, work life and financial life, you have rest and rejuvenation. So for a lot of you Capricorns out there, you are taking vacation. Someone else is taking vacation. Um, you really kind of want to get out of Dodge. You want to be able to sleep in. Many of you might even just be calling in sick because maybe something unexpected came up something unex some unexpected news and you can't even get yourself out of bed and it this is so unlike a capricorn normally i mean like you're at work every single day you know at the same time every day you are on you are just on point but whatever this thing is that happened in the month of june it's almost like you can't even get out of bed because you're just you're dealing with the emotions right now and this is what is coming up for others of you out there, this has something to do with, um, for work life and financial life, it is, it is getting done with a project that was like a very, very long project, but now that you're done with it, it's like you feel like you're free. You feel like you can rest now because you've gotten through a bunch of stuff that you need to get through is what I'm hearing in the month of June. It's like you're doing something in the month of May, but in the month of June, it's over, it's done. And you can be like, okay, finally that project is over. Okay. Um, but some of you are definitely taking vacation right now. Or a loved, excuse me, or a loved one is taking vacation. A loved one is taking a break. As it relates to emotional life and love life, you do have the world. So I am sensing for a lot of Capricorns out there, you might be talking to somebody who is a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo person. 
um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, or Jupiter, um, possibly on the World Wide Web. Maybe you've met somebody on the web that you're interested in. For others of you out there, this could be um, your friend, your lover, your family member, whatever, who is now traveling, who's opening themselves up to the world, who's ready to open their doors and say, what else is out there? I need to stand in my power, in my self-value, and I'm going to do that. And the thing is, is I think what's happening is somebody's doing all of this behind the scenes. And then what happens is in the month of June, it's like, boom, it's out for everybody to see. So um, something is being done underneath the table right now, Capricorns, relative to someone's new beginning, a loved one's new beginning, a family member, um, a lover, something like that. But some sort of new beginning is coming up in the month of June. And um, now you're finally getting the clarity. And for a lot of you Capricorns, I do feel like it is a family member. I feel like it is a brother, a sister, um, a child, a, a mother, a father, something like that, but there is some sort of new beginning. And for some of you Capricorns out there, maybe you have a friend or a family member that has been traveling the world and maybe they've been in other countries or whatever and now they're kind of coming back home or they're talking about their um, their excursions in June, maybe that they went on these particular, um, you know, excursions in May, but then they're talking about them in June. Absolutely. And for um, others of you, you could be traveling with a loved one, traveling with a family member. But I just feel Capricorn like somebody's moving. With the Tower, with Temperance, with the Ace of Swords, the World, and the Broken Heart. I feel like there's a separation because the broken heart means someone is being separated from you. And then the tower means someone's being thrown out or somebody's moving or somebody's getting out of Dodge. Temperance means, you know, air travel, flight, moving, putting, putting your toe in the water for a new beginning, power, truth, victory. You know, the broken heart, I don't want you to go. You know, that type of energy. And again, Capricorns, this can just be a friend. I don't want you to take this in a bad way. This is not a bad reading at all. This is a new beginning for someone or you. But it's just going to cause a level of separation and just have faith. Because it, it, it appears that this person is extremely loyal and they will always be your friend. They will always be your lover. They will always be, they will always have a place in their heart for you. Just know that. Okay. And then as it relates to your health and your well-being, you do have family. So uh, Capricorns, there is something going on regarding family health. Um, this could be a family practice uh, provider or something like that. For others of you out there, this could be genetics. So there's something going on regarding um, like hereditary genetics and you're looking into your genetics. You're looking into, okay, am I going to, am, am I predisposed to this certain condition and you're bringing a lot of truth into this or someone else is bringing a lot of truth into something regarding your family, how your family reacts to certain medications something like that. Something is family driven regarding your health. Maybe your family's taking care of you. You could be taking care of your family, but that is certainly coming up here relative to uh, your health and your well-being. Many of you have a family member that is coming home from the hospital or who is getting better. Their health is getting better and you're celebrating their health because they finally, you know, cut out a bad habit or they finally, um, got the truth and the victory that they were they were looking for and you're celebrating it in june but that is what i am getting all right capricorns i hope this makes sense to you i did go a little bit long i went about mm, eight minutes longer than i should have but please consider getting a subscription to my website and join me uh, there to access your extended reading for this month and all the months thereafter for all the signs i wish you the best much light much love and many blessings namaste